Good morning, everybody. We are at beautiful in Panama City, the Cove. Uh, early, early morning, and it's cold, as you can tell. And we are right now taking gravel from beyond this hill that's in a pile and then bringing it down by wheelbarrow, which is that wheelbarrow right there, then filling this bucket and then putting it carefully behind our seawall so that we don't ruin uh, anything. Filters. We don't ruin the filters. Each, each spot where there's gravel, which is here, there's five spots. There's gravel, five spots. There's filters each location there that we're hand putting them so that when we dump the gravel from the big tractor, we don't break the filter. Can you show them another filter so they can see what it looks like? Prior Here's a filter right here that hasn't been backfilled yet. So we gotta be careful not to break those. That's so, why I'm hand doing it. Yes. So Macy, actually, she's been helping us off and on. Yep. Well, the, both girls, honestly. And she helped uh, put that in, actually, which is well, cool. Well, she put them in, yeah. So yeah, anyways, uh, let me finish up from here. Film the dead men. So these are the one, two, three, four dead men that have not gone in the ground. I got two foot uh, by two by eight drag plates, treated wood, going in a six inch piling that's seven feet long. These go into the ground about three and a half feet under the soil. And then, uh, so the tops of these will be three and a half feet under the soil. And then you got the seven footer, it goes even down all the way. So it goes down farther. So I got these, and then yesterday I got these ones put in. So one, two, three, four, five. These are the tie rod, tie rod. This is 316 stainless steel, 12 foot all thread rod, secured by, it's 5 sixteenths. Uh, I'm sorry, 5 eighths. I think it's 5, I don't remember now, 5 eighths uh, size. And you got these little three inch plates that go on here. Anyways, each one has one. They all get tightened down. And uh, it runs back into the deadman here to the back side of these where it gets bolted on to right here. So that's how that works. So some of you may have noticed that this wall right here, uh, it was an existing sea wall that we were going to keep because it was concrete, it was holding. And I knew I was taking a bit of a risk, which it didn't totally pay off because it's moved on me. And it made, basically moved because of this 11,000 pound tractor. I got a little bit too close to it. So I got it strapped back until I get the backfill in. So hopefully it holds when I get some backfill in here and it doesn't move anymore. Once I equalize pressure on the wall with the backfill and a good compaction um, on that side with basically watering it down with a, a dewatering pump um, I'll pull water from the ocean and pour it in here it'll compact the sand and should go out the rock drains back out to the ocean so anyways that's it for now uh, this is an early morning I've got a late start today but uh, this is where we're at beautiful day out here in Florida Absolutely gorgeous. It's, freezing. it's freezing cold ridiculous this global warming thing is really killing me here all right See you guys later. Thanks for checking us out. Have a good day. Till tomorrow.